welcome back to Terraforming Mars. So, we've already went over um, the cards that mostly had to do with microbes, and the cards that had a lot to do with animals. And we even went over um, all the cards, that, all the project cards that work with all the special tokens. So now I thought we'd go over the majority of the rest of the cards. Now, I'm mostly just going to show you the cards. I might uh, pick a few here and there that I really like, and we'll go over those. But most of them, since there's so many of them, um, and this is just some, there's some here and here and here and here and here. So there's a lot of cards. So that's a lot of video time. So we'll just go over some of them. All right, so let's start with the regular um, project cards, the green ones, and then we'll do the red and the blue, and then uh, we'll do the strategic cards last. All right. Asteroid mining. Food factory. Archaea bacteria. Carbonate processing, nuclear power, giant space mirror, solar wind power, Ganymede colony. Now I will say something about this one. It's not really my favorite, but this is a special card where you'll put a city tile on Ganymede Colony, which is on the board, but it's not on Mars itself. It's on Ganymede instead. And so, uh, a certain uh, city bonuses that you would might you might get uh, for placing cities on Mars won't count towards this because this one is basically not on Mars anyway. And so you'll place the city tile on a reserved area and you'll get one victory point per Jovian tag you have. And Jovian refers to Jupiter. So if you ever see this tag on a card and you have played it, uh, that city is going to be worth points based on the amount of these tags you have, which is a little different because normally you get victory points for each greenery that is attached to your city, but since there won't be any greeneries on Ganymede, you'll be getting your victory points with that instead. So that's kind of interesting. It's a little different for sure. Then we have Nitrophilic Moss, and this one's kind of interesting. It's cheap, it only costs eight, but you have to have at least three ocean tiles out already. Also, when you play it, you're going to lose two of your plants, but you get to increase your plant production two steps. Is that worth it? Oh yes, most definitely. You'll get those two plants back, you know, in fold pretty fast. The next generation, you'll have two extra. And the next generation after that, obviously, you'll have more. So you'll, you'll get your plants back for sure. All right, then we have insects. Then we have um, Radiation Chemical Factory, I believe, or Rad Chemical Factory. Then we have Magnetic Field Dome. Industrial Microbes is kind of interesting. It's also cheap, costs only 12 money, and it's got the microbe tag and the ability to tag on it. And when you play it, you get to increase your energy production and your steel production one step each. So that's pretty nice. This one's also pretty nice, but your temperature has to uh, be uh, 24 C's or warmer in order to play it, but it's cheap, costs seven, and you get to increase your plant production one step, so that's lichen for you. Designed microorganisms. This one has to be played um, in a t very cold temperature. It must be minus 14 C's or colder. So this is something you can play in the beginning of the game pretty easily. It costs 16 and you get to increase your plant production two steps. So that's really nice. And it's got a science tag on it. So if you're working towards uh, 
playing a certain card that requires science tags, that one will be very helpful. And it's not that expensive. Then we have insulation. Now, the reason why this is interesting is because in the beginning of the game, yes, you're going to want to increase your heat production. And you're going to want to obviously increase the temperature. But at some point, that heat that you're collecting will no longer have any use. And so you could have like a heat production of, oh, I don't know, seven. And every generation you're getting seven more and you can't increase the temperature anymore. So all those cubes are going to waste, right? Well, uh, insulation with just for the price of two money, you can decrease your heat production down to a certain amount and increase your mega credit production up to a certain amount, to, you know, equal to the amount that you went down which is pretty nifty. I really like that one a lot, and this is definitely something that's useful towards the end of the game when you don't really need all that heat anyway. Maybe because the temperature is almost maxed out anyway. Windmills. Tundra farming. Micro mills is nice. Only costs three money, and you get to increase your heat production one step. That is a bargain for sure. Magnetic Field Generators, Noctis Farming, Protected Valley. Now this one I like too. So it's pretty costy, costly, it costs 23 money, but it has the plant tag and the building tag on it, so that's nice. And so when it's played, you get to increase your mega credit production two steps, and then you also get to place a greenery tile on an area reserved for an ocean discarding, disregarding normal placement restrictions and increase the oxygen one step. So that's really awesome. You uh, get to place a greenery tile on an ocean location. That's pretty cool. And because you're playing it on an ocean location, you do not have to place that greenery tile next to something you already have on Mars, which is awesome. So that's Protected Valley. And then we have Soil Factory. Then we have Heat Trappers. Then we have Zeppelins. Then we have Worms. Once again, I really like the artwork. Not that, you know, it could, can't be better. It can always be better, but I like the artwork. Then we have Fusion Power. Now, this one has to have, in order to play this, and it costs 14 money, in order to play this, you must have already two of those power tags already in play maybe your corporation has one if not you'll have to have played two uh cards that have the power tags on them to play this but if you have them you get to increase your energy production three steps and that you're going to want is something you're definitely going to want because lots of cards require um for you to decrease your energy production so you're definitely going to want to do this if possible because it can get expensive to increase it the regular way. So this is definitely a good one to have. And then we have Great Dam. Then we have Moss. Then we have Biomass Combustors. Then we have urbanized area, uh, uh, GHG stands for greenhouse gases, so greenhouse gas factories, or gases factories, power grid, greenhouses. Well, this is kind of cheap, it only costs six money, it's got the building tag on it, plant tag, and you'll gain one plant for each city tile in play. So that also includes your opponent's city tiles as well. So depending on how many city tiles are out, you could make that six money worth your while and get several plants, which is nice. Bushes. Grass. Heather. And this one is pretty good too. Uh, requires your uh, temperature to be 14 C's or warmer. But uh, for six money, you get to increase your plant production one step and you also get to get a plant as well that's nice peroxide power 
Tectonic Stress Power. Strip Mine. Okay, well, this one's interesting. We'll go over this one. So, it costs 25 money, but it has a building tag on it, so you can use your steel for this card. Um, you do need to also be able to decrease your energy production two steps. And remember, you can't decrease any of your production phases down below zero, except for, obviously, mega credits. So, if you don't have at least two on the energy production line, then you won't be able to also play this card either. But if you do, and you have enough money as well, you get to increase your still production two steps, your titanium production one step, and you also get to increase the oxygen twice. This is an awesome, powerful card. It's definitely worth using, because it's definitely going to help terraform Mars, especially the oxygen, for sure. And the steel and titanium is a nice bonus for just simply the cost of minus two energy. Definitely worth it, for sure. Wave power. And this one's nice. Power plant. Only costs four money. And you get to increase your energy production one step. This is a this is a bargain deal for sure. And then we have deep well heating. This is also a bargain deal. Because even though it's 13 money, which is a little bit more than the four money from the last card, not only do you get to increase your energy production one step. But you also get to increase your the temperature one step as well. So as long as the temperature can continue to go up, this is worth the money for sure. Cloud seeding. Beam from a thorium asteroid. Mangrove. Okay, well this is one this is another one of those interesting ones that I really like. First of all, the uh, temperature has to be plus four C's or warmer, but the, you'll get to place a greenery tile on an area reserved for an ocean and raise the oxygen one step, and then disregard normal placement restrictions for this. So just like Protected Valley, this one does the exact same thing, and but you know the temperature has to be a certain amount, of course, to play it, but it's cheaper than the other one. And don't forget, it's going to give you a victory point for playing it. So this is another bonus for playing certain project cards. Some project cards will give you victory points, and some will decrease your score, too. So, it evens out. Then we have trees. Then we have soil power. Now, this one is also worth 11 money, because you get to increase your, uh, uh, your energy production one step, for the price of 11 and the normal way of doing it is still more expensive than that but it's also going to give you a victory point at the end of the game so this is a bargain deal for sure artificial photosynthesis artificial lake okay well this is how it gets interesting another one that's interesting so first of all uh the temperature has to be six c's or warmer but you'll get to place one ocean tile on an area not reserved for an ocean. So this card, Artificial Lake, will let you place an ocean tile on a spot that isn't designated for an ocean. And you get a victory point. That's a pretty cool card. Okay, and that's all we'll do for this video.